Hi, Shalom, and welcome to, or welcome back to, Who Knew It Was Jewish? We are on episode 46, and today's topic is ballpoint pens. Laszlo Biro was born to Jewish parents in Budapest in 1899. While working as a journalist, Biro noticed that the ink used in newspaper print, printing dried very quickly, leaving the paper dry and smudge free. He tried using the same ink on a fountain pen, but was very unsuccessful. One day, he observed some children playing with marbles in a puddle and noticed how the marbles left a trail of water in their wake. This gave Biro the idea of using a ball-shaped metal nib for pens. He presented the first production of this kind of ballpoint pen at the Budapest International Fair in 1931. Biro worked with his brother, Yorgi, to develop a new tip consisting of a ball that was free to turn in a socket and as it turned it would pick up ink from the cartridge and roll the deposit onto the paper. Biro patented this invention in Paris in 1938. The pen was patented in the USA in 1943 by the brothers. In 1945 Marcel Bitch bought the patent from Biro and made it to and made it sorry the focus of his new company BIC. I do want to note that John J. Loud was technically the first ballpoint inventor back in 1888. However, his patent never took off and therefore never being commercialized and the patent did lapse until Biro came along. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to, of course, stay tuned for more episodes. And I did want to mention two little things like I have done and uh, two little pieces of information like I have in the past couple of episodes that once I do hit episode 50, which is only a few more episodes away, which I cannot believe, I will be decreasing the episodes from twice a week down to once a week, and that is really to accommodate just for my full-time job and also personal life, because of course, creating this wonderful, amazing series does take a lot of time, a lot of resources, a lot of research and whatnot, so I do have to decrease the episodes for now. Hopefully they'll pick back up in a little bit. And I also, like always, want to ask that if you have any suggestions, toys, food, characters, brands, companies that you think might have a Jewish history or background to them, please feel free to write them in the comment section of this video and I will check out your suggestion. If indeed it does have a Jewish history and background to it, I will not only make an episode of uh, using your suggestion, but I will make sure to shout you out in the video as well. Thanks again, and I will see you all very, very soon.